What's up everyone, it's Zing and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, as you can see, I'm back in Marvel Infinity and today I'm going to be doing another showcase because as I said, I'm going to be doing a lot of showcases this week. So I've been grinding super super hard and I finally got Agatha Harkness, which is probably one of the more expensive characters in the game and she just came out and she's really really powerful. I believe her price is around 30,000 shield credits, but she requires the dark hold which is 250 robux. If you guys are excited just as much as I am, make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and bell button in order to stay notified for more videos like this in the future and join my discord server and buy my new robux collection out now. Also, I apologize if my editing is like kind of off in this video. I'm currently on vacation and I'm editing on my computer, so it's not gonna look the same. Just bear with me. All right, without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so first off, this is how she looks. So her first ability is Hex Teleportation. So basically, if I click C and point my cursor somewhere, I will automatically teleport here. And I really like this ability because you can travel like to far places. So for example, if I do it again, I will teleport like all the way over here to this building. And I really, I think this ability is really useful. Okay, so her next ability is Hex Flight. So if you hold F, she will basically fly like she did in the hex. And her flying animation is really, really cool. Like, I love how they added the trail just like in the show. I think like this is really, really nice. The speed is like, okay, like it's not bad. Like, I mean, you could still live with it, but I just, I would have preferred her flight to be a little bit higher. So her next ability is hex runes. So if you hold on G, your runes will pop up and you click your cursor like this to form a box and basically while these runes are up the people inside cannot use their power moves so they can use all of their other moves except their power moves because it only takes away their damage so her next ability is an absorbing meme so basically if you're close to someone else and you hold the button z your body will automatically like siphon as it did in the show and it will drain all of like the energy from the other player and their held too. So this is like really cool. I love this move. It's like really nice. So her next ability is Hex Slash. So if I click on here, um, it will throw a Hex Slash towards a person. And this automatically does a lot of damage. And I think this is a really useful move and it just pushes everyone back. So, so her next move is Telepathic Sense. And this um, is a move that all telepathic users have. So if you hold U, you will go into like this purple animation and you can click all of the people around you to kind of know where they are. So this is useful if you're trying to find someone or your friend in the map or this is like just a really useful tool like to know where people are. And if you click on them, you could see their point of view too. And yeah, it's just really cool. Her next move is telekinesis, so if you hold on T and you aim your cursor towards someone, it will hold them into the air like this and you can move them wherever your mouse goes. And if you click, um, it will just throw them back, dealing some damage, not quite a lot. Um, you could also do this with objects. So as you can see, if I go towards like this car, I can hold and point my cursor and it will throw this car towards literally anyone. And I just think this is like really, really nice and like so funny. Um, so yeah, I love this telekinesis move for Agatha. So her next ability is magic absorb. So if you hold on Q and a person is attacking you with powers, it will basically absorb that energy and like count it towards your energy. And I think this is really cool. Like it just absorbs everything and you could do this for how long as you want until your um, stamina runs out. So I think this is really nice. And finally, her last ability is a Hex Blast, which is just a very simple bolt blast. 
and it knocks players back dealing a lot of damage all right guys and that's going to be the end of today's agatha showcase i hope you guys enjoyed this showcase and got more information on how you could play with her um she only has three spots and i hope if you're planning to buy her in my opinion you can buy her if you would like but if you do have other characters in mind that are more powerful than her i definitely recommend you should buy them first because agatha is a good character but in my opinion for 250 robux it's just she should be a little bit more powerful since you know you're spending robux and shield credits on her but that's just my opinion if anyone else loves agatha i'm all for it i think she's a really cool character too and i hope you guys enjoyed this video so so much thank you so so much for watching and have a very nice day or night i love you so much Oh,